Rebecca, and I want to welcome you to Leilani, a little bit of Hawaiian aloha in the middle of Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm very happy that you decided to book with us, and this short video is going to give you some information that might make your stay a little bit easier and certainly a little bit easier to navigate. When you first arrive to our neighborhood, you're going to find Hayes Avenue is right by a series of parks. This is our street, and across the street, you'll see a bike pathway, and also a pedestrian pathway, that leads to Jordan Park, Peace Park, as well as the Jordan River Walkway. And here is our house. When arriving to our home, feel free to park on the street. There is always plenty of parking on the street here on Hayes Avenue. You're welcome to knock on the top door to see if I'm home, but if I'm not, you'll probably want to go directly to your suite. And that can be found to the left of the house when you're facing it, and there is a welcome sign waiting for you. For your protection, we have installed electric locks on this suite. This electric lock allows me to select random four-digit numbers to give to each of my guests for their entry into the suite. Once the four-digit number has been utilized, it is retired and a new combination is then generated for the next guest. This ensures that no guests have the same way into the space. Once you are here, what you're going to want to do is activate the lock. You can do that by putting a good amount of pressure on the word shaleg, which is at the top of the lock. This highlights the numbers in the lock so that you can then put in your special combination. The combination then should open the door for you. When leaving, all you have to do to lock the door is to shut the door and then put the same amount of pressure on the word schlag in order to activate the lock. Then make sure that the lock actually is locked before leaving. The next portion of this video is basically going to give you a good overview of the space and where you can find things. As soon as you enter the house for the first time, you will be greeted by a welcome card and there will be information left for you regarding different places you can visit in Salt Lake City and information about the home. Once you have entered the space, you are in the dining room. Here you will find a love seat, a nice rocking chair to take the weight off, a large television set, with a connected VCR and also a game player. Over to the side, we have games and movies for you to watch, games to play. There is a dining area. And the living room leads off to the very first bedroom. Both bedrooms features a large queen-size bed an ample closet space. We also have a dresser in this first bedroom. From here, you would go back into the living room and we will enter the kitchen. The kitchen features a full-size refrigerator and freezer with a cold water distributor as well as an ice maker. We have a full-size sink and basic utensils for your needs. You'll find some paper towels, some spices to cook with, utensils to cook with. We offer complimentary coffee and some filters, coffee maker and mugs. Up in the cabinets, you'll find plates and bowls, as well as wine glasses, mugs, and miscellaneous glasses. The stove is a gas stove, so you will probably enjoy cooking with it. And to the side, we have some silverware and additional utensils. You will find some extra paper towels right above in the upper cabinets. In the kitchen, opposite of the sink, you'll see this large closet. I ask guests to please stay away from this closet. 
Basically, all it contains is our water heater, and none of us would want anything to happen to that. Exiting the kitchen, to our immediate right, you'll find a large cabinet. And inside, you'll find some extra tea, different bowls and such to cook with, pots, pans, a blender, and also a toaster. In the bottom cabinet, we have some plastic ware for you to go ahead and store extra food. Right next to that cabinet is the second bedroom. It too features a large queen size bed and a full size closet. It is in this closet that you will find extra pillows should they be needed. Now we enter the bathroom. Although it is small, it works really well. I think you'll enjoy taking a shower in here. You'll find some soaps and shampoo and of course towels for your visit. Finally, I want to show you where you can find a washer and dryer. That is down the hall to the left. There will be specific instructions on how to use it as they're a little complicated. In this room, you will also find some extra towels, more towels, and extra linen if you need it. And that's about it. For those of you who have stayed with us before when we were back on the big island of Hawaii, we are excited to have you visit us again. The only big change this time is going to be, of course, it's gonna be in Utah, a new place, but we also will have the opportunity to meet you this time, and that will be fantastic. For all of our new renters, we are delighted to be able to have you in our home, and we look forward to getting to know you. We are very sociable, we love meeting new people, and we hope that we can make your stay not only pleasant, but memory-filled. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you. Aloha.